The Royal Air Force RAF, is the United Kingdom's Air and Space Force. It was formed towards the end of the First World War on April 1, 1918, becoming the first independent air force in the world, by regrouping the Royal Flying Corps RFC, and the Royal Naval Air Service RNAS. Following the Allied victory over the Central Powers in 1918, the RAF emerged as the largest air force in the world at the time. Since its formation, the RAF has taken a significant role in British military history. In particular, it played a large part in the Second World War where it fought its most famous campaign, the Battle of Britain. A group of eight de Havilland Sea Hornets of the Fleet Air Arm lineup on the flight deck of the Royal Navy aircraft carrier HMS Implacable, R-86, during a sea exercise in July 1950. Fleet Air Arm Hawker Sea Furies, Iwakuni, Japan, 1951. Boeing B-29A, Washington, 1953. The MK-24 was the final variant of the Spitfire and this particular aircraft, built in 1947, registration VN-485, saw RAF service in Hong Kong with 80 SQDN, 1953. To celebrate Queen Elizabeth's coronation on June 2, 1953 the RAF laid on the biggest display of military air. De Havilland Chipmunk, 1954 Fleet Air Arm, Westland Wyvern, Douglas Skyraider and Hawker Sea Hawk aircraft on the deck of HMS Eagle, 1955. The crew of an Avro Vulcan B. One bomber pose in front of their aircraft, 1956. An RAF medical officer climbs aboard Westland Whirlwind HAR. 2XJ-728 of a flight, no. 22 Squadron based at RAF St. Mogan, but temporarily deployed to RAF Valley for mountain rescue exercises, 1957. Avro Vulcan B. 1XA-896 at RAF Waddington, August 21, 1957. Avro Vulcan B. 1XA906 of No. 83 Squadron is seen under tow by a Douglas Sentinel Tugmaster Heavy Towing Unit at RAF Waddington, October 1957, a few months after the Vulcan entered service. Blackburn Beverly C. 1XB284 of No. 47 Squadron, based at RAF Abingdon, 1957. De Havilland DH. 115 Vampire at RAF Swinderby, 1957. These five Royal Navy Seahawk FB 3s of 783 NAS team at Farnborough were the first aerobatic team to produce smoke during a display on September 5, 1957. An instructor shows aircraft apprentices of NO. One school of technical training at RAF Halton, Buckinghamshire, how to load a gun pack of 4 Aden 30mm cannon into an instructional airframe of a Hawker Hunter, 1958. English Electric Canberra B. SIXS, WH948, WH958 and WT201 of NO. 12 Squadron, based at RAF Binbrook, Lincolnshire, are seen in flight, September 1958, the squadron's fox head emblem visible on the aircraft's tails. Handley Page Hastings, C. 
One TG-587 of No. 511 Squadron taxis across a dusty airfield at Amman, Jordan, July 1958. Handley Page Victor B. 1 XA-936 of No. 10 Squadron seen during a flight from its base at RAF Cottesmore, September 1958. De Havilland DH-114 Heron CC for XM-296 of the Queen's flight at RAF Masaira, Oman, 1959. Flying Instructor Flight Lieutenant J. Davis with his student, Flight Cadet T.C. Porteous of No. 76 Entry in a de Havilland Vampire T-11 at the RAF College Cranwell, Lincolnshire, 1959. Parachutists of the RAF Parachute Brigade boarding a Blackburn Beverly via the rear loading ramp. Possibly during Exercise Red Banner, October 1959. Squadron Leader Ulf Burberry's crew run towards a Handley Page Victor of No. 15, 15, Squadron during a demonstration scramble at RAF Cottesmore, June 1959. The First Bristol Britannia Sea. 1 in RAF service, XL-636 Argo of No. 99 Squadron is seen during a flight from its base at RAF Lynham, soon after its delivery to the RAF on June 4, 1959. The 1st Bristol Britannia C. 1 in RAF service, XL-636 Argo of No. 99 Squadron, RAF Transport Command, during a flight from its base of RAF Lynham, Wiltshire, shortly after the aircraft was delivered in June 1959. Two senior aircraft men check an F-52 camera before placing it in a Vickers Valiant B, PR. One aircraft of no. 543 Photo Reconnaissance Squadron RAF Space at Whiten, Cambridgeshire, 1959. Vampire T. Elevens of the RAF College's Flying Wing, June 23, 1959. A Hawker, Siddeley, P. 1127, Kestrel after landing vertically on the test pad at Dunsfold, 1960. Six English Electric Canberra, PR. Nines and their crews, from No. 58 Squadron part of the Strategic Reconnaissance Force seen at RAF Whiten near St. Ives, Cambridgeshire, September 1960. Blackburn Beverly, XL-149, of No. 30 Squadron RAF in flight over the Kenyan Bush, 1961. The Hunter F. SIXS which formed part of the display team of No. 92 Squadron, the Blue Diamonds, are seen in tight line abreast formation, rehearsing for the 1961 season. A Beverly Heavy Transport aircraft operated by the Royal Air Force Transport Command stuck in the sand on the airstrip at RAF Sharjah in the UAE, 1962, 